All right, so we'll be having an overview of the skin glands. So just so you know that the skin glands are also known as what? Let's have vestibular glands. So, uh, we'll, um, okay, they're also known as what? Para um, urethral glands. That's like same names with the skin glands. So we'll quickly now look at two conditions that usually affect the skin glands. That's skinitis. Anytime you hear itis, it's inflammation then skin duct cyst okay so you can see that this is a picture and you can spot out the skin the skin glands here um skin glands right you can spot out where they are so skin glands are also known as what let's have vestibular glands they are also known as what para urethral glands so they are actually small glands located on either side of the urethra in females right so they play a crucial role in urinary and sexual health okay because they usually secrete a fluid that helps to lubricate the urethral opening so they usually contribute to female ejaculation all right so for the key points on the skin glands um, they're actually homologous to prostate if you see the prostate in males right, the skin glands is like the female version of prostate okay so they secrete a fluid that is containing proteins like the prostate specific antigens they may act as a reservoir for some certain infections right so skinitis now is just having to do with the inflammation or infection of the what skin glands so it's commonly caused by bacteria that's gonorrhea or urinary tract infection right so it can be dealing with sexually transmitted infections or urinary tract infections then for the skin duct cyst we said that a cyst that forms due to what um, obstruction of the skin ducts. So the skin ducts are not being able to ejaculate now. It's kind of like okay, it's kind of like you're having like a backlog of it. You understand? So it can cause symptoms like pain, urinary retention, dyspar uh, dyspareunia. That's painful intercourse, right? A treatment is just surgical excision or masopialization. Okay, so I think that was it for the skin glands and all that is related with it.